Hello Scorpio, welcome. We're doing a bonus reading for you guys. It's going to be timeless. Whenever you see this reading is for you. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. It's going to be a 10 card reading. Three cards in the past or recent past. Three cards in the present. Three cards in the future. One card as advice. Remember you have free will. This is just telling you what are the energies now. How can they um, unfold? You decide, uh, you know, the direction you want to take. So before... Um, we start the reading i got actually a lot of cards for you guys and one thing that all these cards have in common especially is roses and keys um i have only the seven of scrolls here only one but also all of them what they had the meaning of all these cards one thing that they had in common was abundance fulfillment increase in when it comes to your wealth or when it comes here even to your general life with the three of uh, roses the loving elemental it says here not only that that finally joy is coming in your life and for some of you it might be a new love uh, birth but also i feel it, it's telling you scorpio and we have a full moon in scorpio on the um 23rd by the way early degree Scorpio are going to feel it but again you guys have also right now Jupiter and Uranus opposing your Scorpio placement so there's a lot going on Jupiter is expansive here so I feel like this wish fulfillment are about also when it comes to Jupiter opposing you but it's also like a balance here and of course with Uranus it's innovative and I feel like some of you here are already working on something that you really feel you have a talent so all these placements i feel like it's kind of telling me that it is finally things dreams coming true uh, but be more playful be more open work with the element that you have here what are the talents it's just you have to have more fun that's how it, it feels like here having more fun being more playful type of energy more uplifting um, also again people around you may encourage you to have more fun but then it follows by the five of keys the wishes uh, fulfilled here so it feels like something in your life finally is coming in or it's telling you once you are open up to this playful energy uh, more carefree um, it, it feels like finally your wishes are coming true especially because the queen of roses is coming very much here like the queen of cups it's like or this is a person that is coming in your life look at how focused is in the roses here the one rose it's like someone finally has a loving connections here is embracing these emotions this might be a person that is coming in, uh, in your life here we will see how the reading goes or this might be you and then whatever is this wish fulfillment this increase in abundance that is coming in here victory um the six of keys is telling you that finally whatever that work in crescent moon so again i feel like it's about the full moon that is going to bring uh, things here it, finally it's going to be in an abundance here in whatever you're working relationship career whatever you're doing this by the way the meaning of this card seven of scrolls is saying to you that whatever is this increase and in balance that is coming in your life that is also here some of you may be renovating a home or maybe you know maybe property here there's going to be um, a very strategic move in the way you're dealing because this success is coming in and some of you may be feeling like or oh, i want to buy another property or i want to, to, there's something here towards greatness that you feel like now that i have this you know wish fulfillment or these opportunities that are coming in my life now that i know what i enjoy now i can go towards this greatness it has to be very strategic here because he's saying the four of keys is like you need to kind of clear the way for this greatness to come towards your life if there's any obstacle here or something right now that has held you back and clear headspace as well it feels like the opportunities towards your wish fulfillment your dreams again a higher kind of um, opportunities that are coming in this is the perfect time for you to clear the way because again and i feel like the reading that i did for you guys there were like I feel like it was like you're going to get everything and that's how these cards are coming as well it feels like or building or renovating a home or you know as i said strategic specific here type of uh situation where do you want to go what do you want to achieve it's perfect so let's see here what the reading has to say 
I'm going to read at the end some of those uh, definitions for you guys. For those that are interested, I will include it uh, at the end of this reading. Because I feel like all of them had this kind of the same kind of meaning that Scorpio, this is the time for you to achieve everything. Okay, so three cards for Scorpio in the past, three present, three future, one card as advice. We're going to clarify, of course. One more. All right. Wow, Taurus had this as well. How interesting. Taurus had the Queen of uh, Roses as well. Oh my goodness, look, you see number three here. I am getting abundance here. For some of you, of course, it can be motherhood, but creativity here, love, ooh, the temptation. Like maybe that's what you need to clear the, the way, whatever the obstacle here. All right, so pass here, rest and rejuvenate regarding something you've been planning. All right, so in the past, you have been trying to recover from a situation here. You have been very patient. And for some of you, feel like this is kind of, to me, that seven of pentacles. Like, okay, I'm being patient. I've been trying here. I've been dealing with a lot of loss and heartache, which again, one of the cards, I feel like that's what it says, especially this one. It's just you have gone through all these heartaches and loss. Now it's time for, you, for things to come towards you. But uh, we're going to clarify, but that's how it seems recovering waiting and i'm looking at the past and you know i i'm not putting time specific here so just whenever you see this for some of you this might be happening now but just be aware what it is that you have been torn and gone through uh, you know this loss and you have been trying here to kind of recover you have been patient all right so wow the material and the spiritual prosperity positive movement forward oh my god <laughs> Oh my God, I like when, you know, the synchronicities happen here. Scorpio, I love this for you. And maybe I'm biased because I'm a Scorpio, Sun, Venus, and Jupiter. But I, I really like this for you guys. Um, so, not only you're going to have... And some of you, if you have also Taurus, because I finished, just I finished Taurus reading. And they had the material, uh, material and spiritual. Or some of you have Taurus in your chart. And as I mentioned, Taurus... Uh, is going to affect you guys because it is your opposite sign in your chart depending where your chart is is kind of bringing those aspects to the surface but some of you might have Taurus in your chart or dealing with one it, it, this is beautiful it feels like not only that there's going to be this successful approach number six here as well but it feels like once you move towards this and again for some of you uh, I feel like you have to take this uh, you know movement not just the kind of weight especially because i feel here for people that have been working towards a situation you have to open up and it feels like finally things are coming in especially whatever patience and planning here you have been doing it feels like this is coming with the fulfillment of wishes the nice balance between the material and spiritual but yeah for some of you maybe relocating maybe moving in a new direction here uh, again clearing the way and finally things are coming in Another nine here, solitude, wow, destiny, and wisdom, hierophant. This is beautiful. The advice, balance, justice card. I feel like I wanted to say some of you have gone through some discontent. This is beautiful, Scorpio. It's truly, it's beautiful. So with the solitude, I feel like this is something, a nine and nine, by the way, which is almost there to a completion. Some of you, you kind of need to take a step back. And I feel like with the book here, it's a knowledge. You feel like you need to go within yourself or kind of uh, which pathway. Because it's going to lead you to destiny. But I'm, since I'm getting the book here, for some of you, it's knowledge, higher education here. It can be law. But I feel like this is where you feel like, I always look at the hermit, that someone has accomplished certain things in life. And now it is at that last step. And depending which path we are, it's going to be different for all of you here. But the hermit has gained certain wisdom, but it's like, what is else? What really? Like if we kind of question our, ourselves eventually here, especially if we feel like we have achieved certain balance, now what's next? What's my purpose? What's my destiny? What do I need to understand here? So the wisdom is coming here, or again, for some of you uh, with a connection, marriage, a partnership. Uh, but for some of you, it can be a subject that you're interested here, something that you feel like you it's... 
it's meant to be for you mentoring here counselor law spirituality it feels like that's where you're going um in the future but i feel like it's because in the present you are feeling balanced and you want to go towards a, a certain pathway here that fulfills you truly fulfills you remember he's saying be open and playful to that energy but what is right now is like really balancing and we, in this situation pros and cons uh remember we had like the devil here not to go to extreme it feels like, um, and I'm saying this also for some of you as a Scorpio, we tend sometimes again to go from one extreme to the next uh, situation, all or nothing. And the balance for some of you that have Libra in your chart, this might be helpful, especially with the South Node being um, in Libra right now. It's very important to kind of keep the balance when it comes to making money, when it comes here to, uh, you know, feelings emotions what it is you know the purpose it feels like it's very very interesting um that that's coming in with all of this card the the balance that's your advice due time you're going to get your justice so let's see let's see oh i can't <laughs> sorry um i'm gonna clarify but I love this for you guys. All right, so let's start with the rest and rejuvenate. What is this? One more. Okay, so it seems like it's been regarding a choice, a movement that you've been waiting or on someone or, you know, uh, I always feel like this is Mars, by the way, in Aries, which is going to be at the end of, um, it's going to enter at the end of the month. It might be a direction here. It might be um, a person, especially because with the Three of Swords, you have been feeling torn and you've been waiting for something kind of to take you into that direction. I always feel like the Two of Wands has intentions and focus and planning, but it feels like you needed time or someone needed time. What is this? Okay, so yeah, I keep getting the balance regarding, again, those happy, joyful moments here. So it's time, I feel, and again, not going to extreme, that's the temperance, regarding reconciling or going towards what you feel, Mercury in Cancer, what you feel like is going to bring you happiness and joy, especially if there's been some separation or loss here. So what is the patience and the planning? Oh, okay. That's why you have to clear the way. For some of you, in your beginning and closing a chapter, distance here, the potential again towards your destiny, what you feel like you're meant to go towards. But um, yeah, some of you have been dealing with a lot of loss, hurt, betrayal, um, disappointment here, or fear. That's why you have kind of the timing might have not been right. The Ten of Swords comes here that someone is like, kind of not only overwhelmed themselves psychologically, but also felt um, backstabbed. Let me get another card before we look at, um, what is the uh, patience and planning? Wow, I feel like again, your intuition has been right. You have been at crossroads regarding a breakthrough, but it feels like something between your intuition and overwhelming here negative scenarios and situations so what is the heartache and loss okay oh wow or someone felt here that they cannot make a move distance barriers or you felt like a situation i'm getting the chariot here is coming as someone not only is unstoppable remember that obstruction here they're clearing the way it's like what it is that has kept you from moving forward and clearing the way that's what i'm getting or i don't know if it's a person or situation what is the heartache and the chariot yep wow provocation hurt you've been very guarded or someone here has been very guarded i keep getting that there's always been hope and you have not lost hope but at the same time it feels like there's other conflict people here guilt and I, I am getting that some of you feel very hurt by a, a person or a situation here because the five of swords comes here like as someone using their words 
as weapon or kind of having an advantage here and um even i feel like there might be some guilt or how someone handled this that's why i feel like you're needing for you to clear the the way all right so let's see currently here you're getting the material of and spiritual prosperity what is this about all right so from the four of swords here and the king of wands now this may be you yeah whatever was planned and some of you have avoided a situation uh this is coming uh from the past situation that you recovered it's coming as a king of wands does not have to be you it might be a person but i feel like this is between passion here and someone that has been trying to recover from this heartbreak finally you fi finding that balance someone also wants to bring this with you this type of exchange materially and spiritually let me get one more one more I keep getting the seven of swords you have the six of pentacles it feels like or someone is denied or pretended and you get the seven of swords a lot too by the way it feels like whatever was that denial or pretend or avoidance here someone now it's like i want this uh very mutual balanced way a give and take sharing so what is this positive movement forward Especially, I'm, I'm getting here that you have felt hurt by someone keeping, uh, I don't know, when it comes to assets, when it comes to emotional here, the six of pentacles can be like, what are we exchanging here? Is it fair? Is someone kind of holding or hiding something? So that's not the case, it feels like. What is the positive movement forward? All right, so death. Wow, what a rebirth situation, by the way. Oh my god, I'm like, let me see the nine of cups again. The hierophant, I'm telling you, huh? Pisces, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, this is beautiful rebirth, a new love opening up here towards a new chapter. That's what is coming in presently, that's what you're going. Again, letting go, transforming here and opening up. But I am getting the reverse situation. So let's see what is this fulfillment of wishes. What is this fulfillment of wishes here? One more. No, I got, I got so many. This has been something that has worried you. Maybe because of the Ten of Swords. Nine, nine, nine. One more, please. My goodness, it's like feels like an indulgence for some of you it has to do with love. So this fulfillment of wishes is coming as something that you have felt. And there's an obsessive energy here, by the way, with the nine of swords and the devil. Someone wanted uh, here or what felt um, in this case taboo or extreme. Remember here with the balance that I said something needs to be balanced or indulgent. You're getting, I don't know if you felt like you should not have this or there's not romance here or you're afraid that someone here was not good. Yeah, getting the strength card. That's where I feel like it's coming from, from a situation. And I'm getting here these cards of avoidance, hurt, anxiety ending, but it feels like it's leading to, to what you have wanted. Someone also here might be wishing for you, but feels like they, they are worried. They might be... Um, Someone is trapped, I feel like, or forbidden. One more. Yeah, like they're, they're fighting here. I keep getting the heart fan. Like, um, I don't know if it feels taboo or indulgent, or it's because, again, you're feeling like something needs to balance and be exchanged here. What holds you back? Is it codependency for some of you? And again, remember, it can, it can be the Queen of Roses there. It can be, I'm not getting court cards, which is interesting. I usually get a lot. But that's what it feels. Someone has romantic feelings but feels trapped, obsessed because I want this. I want this wish fulfillment. Or this is coming in and you're not sure. You're kind of feeling like, is this too good to be true? What is the, the solitude? Maybe some of you need time to understand. What is the solitude, please? Oh my God. Yeah. The King of Cups coming in. So... With, with this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment, you are kind of questioning because look at the eight of cups is going towards that nine of cups. 
and it can be here about unconditional love it can be here about what truly you want it can be about uh you going towards this emperance definitely the king of cups knows now this is what i want i'm letting go of all disappointment or hurt i need time again look that's what the, the hermit or the solitude is trying to find this sensuality this love this fulfillment so you might need time you or this person to kind of figure out why because destiny is knocking here so what is this one more you see guys the six of pentacles yeah, and the sun here really your happiness uh this material abundance here but also something again that you stood your ground there's a strong will here i feel like someone felt like i'm not going to accept any less i'm going for it overcoming any obstacles and ch challenges again building the greatness here that's what that destiny is like abundance but also there's this passionate approach that you stood your ground you are this person so let's see what is this wisdom one more trust by the way i have the dog here look at the birth for some of you i am getting a success and victory i am getting a person that um is very or uh i'm, I'm getting an intelligent lawyer um uh, because of that uh, wisdom and the king of swords which kind of not only that there's a wisdom here that i'm getting from this person but also someone of status someone here um they feel like they have uh, i don't want to say above the law i'm not getting that but i'm getting that someone here is a leader is being seen as a strong wise intellectual here but most than anything i feel like this is also look at the abundance that is increasing here there's some type of offer and you guys have gotten you i believe in another one a commitment so this is a business offer for some of you commitment long term something is increasing here abundance that is coming in money wise it can be something that you have been trying again to kind of learn and finally you're getting that knowledge okay so what is the balance one more the four of wands and the hanging man between your achievements here foundation passion and something that you feel like right now you still have to like wait it can be with the hanging man such a sacrificial energy as well but it feels like venus in aries again it's like there's this structure there's this engagement there's this achievement but there's also another thing here that is coming towards you that you feel like you still have to balance and look at it from a different perspective that's where i feel like you have to wait here kind of a situation or try to understand it so i'm, I'm going to to start uh here with um read some of these cards for those that want to know what are the the cards that the universe wants you to know um i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with the two of uh two of roses actually let me let me go to the two of roses No, two of roses three of roses i'm going to start with the three of roses life this card so the three of roses this card is here to tell you that joy will soon be increasing it also encourages you to remember to have fun bring more playfulness in your daily life let yourself sing a little and laugh a lot call on the elementals to inspire you in this and in other areas they are a font of fun and upliftment they can expand joy in your life and in great measures so i feel like that card really is telling you open up so i'm going to look at uh, the five of keys he's saying this card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realized difficulties may be may have challenged you for a time but even in this victory is assured there is an abundance of sweet nourishment and acquired uh, and acquired lands coming which i feel like this is also talking about lands so i feel like some of you property the keys to the castle are yours celebrate i'm going to go uh, directly here and we'll do the queen of roses in a little bit because right after the five of keys is the uh, six of keys 
So he says, this waxing moon on the card shows you an exciting time of increase, abundance, and growth. Your efforts have combined with external circumstances and even the stars have aligned. If things have been financially tied to you recently, relax. There is a great opportunity for increase and fulfillment in every way. Financially, cre creatively, and even in your reputation and prestige. We have this. So just do your work and get ready to receive. So I really like that. Uh, for the Four of Keys, guys, going back here to the Four of Keys, it says... This card is a strong signal that's not that that uh, this card is a strong signal that it's now time to take significant actions to remove an obstruction in your way. It may be in your personal life, in a relationship, at work, or with a creative project. You must be clear-headed, so be sure to temper your actions with calm and forethought. If you are too urgent and excitable remember the balance card you may waste your energy or even cause damage on the other hand if you're overly gentle and cautious you won't be clearing the way completely be determined and strong as you work to remove the obstacles that block your steps with time and your attention the way to your dreams will be open so that is beautiful um let's see this, uh, the Queen of Roses, this is a card of a loving connection, a relationship with someone you know may deepen and become more meaningful, or someone you may appear. Be open to the connection, it may be a romantic one, or it might be uh, that friend, that a friend, family or member or co-worker is going to be helpful and valuable to you in some ways. The Queen of Roses can represent you or a woman in your life, stepping into the role of a wife, a mother, at this time it's time for a loving energy to be voiced remember also the empress here shows a happy resolution to a difficulty with a family a friend or a love relationship this the time for peaceful loving connection is at hand so open your heart to the expression of caring within and around you so let's do the seven of scrolls here because i really like the seven of scrolls when i read it so it says, at a very basic level, this, cards could, this card could indicate building or renovating a home or business. This card also shows that you are on your way to greatness, but it, it requires attending to, to even the, but it requires attending to even the tiniest of particulars. Be diligent with the specifics in your strategy and pay considerable attention to detail and follow through. While you may have a long-term goal in mind, the small steps are what's important now. Even the most magnificent cathedrals were built stone by stone, day by day. It is, all, it is, it is only by heaping up the small that the great can be achieved. So you can see that he's telling you whatever you're working, you are going to get the rewards and the prestige here and the abundance. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.